Welcome to the Madness! Hey, how's it going folks? The name's Steffi and welcome back to some more Battletech Season 3 modded for Battletech Extended and Urban Warfare DLC. Okay, so the plan is that we are heading northwards to Russell Hark Space to do the Opportunist uh, Flashpoint. However, it's quite a journey so we're stopping at various planets in order to do some contracts to get some funds to fund the journey as well as some salvage so yeah we're here on Hel uh, Hel Helixmar? Helixmar, that's it. So I'll show you where we are on the star map. We are here sort of like central western and we have to... Da -da 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 -da. Is that it? No, it's the Marik Alliance one, we'll be doing that soonish nope we need to get up here it expires 154 days it's 91 days travel so yeah we should be fine we should be fine but yeah basically that's what we do we're just jumping from planet to planet near enough and just doing the odd contracts nothing else to say so yeah we're just going to do a nice free two and a half or full three and a half school contract we'll be on the way so the question is, what do we want to do? Do we want to do a destroyed base? Do we want to do a captured base? Or do we want to do ourselves an assassination? I kind of fancy doing a captured base, actually. I've not, like, not done a captured base in a very, very, very long time, actually. Uh, we could do a destroyed base, but no, nah, I like a captured base. Or do we do an assassination? I don't know. Just whatever gives us, like, the... Um, let's go with the capture base. Yeah, let's do the capture base. You know, middle difficulty, we'll see why not. Okay, so, unremarkable empty systems like this one are the perfect location for covert intelligence gathering operations. We believe there's a Capellan facility here on Helixmar, doing eventually that, doing exactly that. Monitoring the pattern of dropships making landings on the planet has led Davian analysts to a remote, apparently empty facility. Until just a few days ago, when we picked up the unmasked signature of a mech's fusion engine powering up. The facility isn't empty, and we want that data stored there. No relevant can intel from the asset of nowhere really be. We'll still be paid, so I suppose it doesn't matter, honestly. Yeah, we'll do that. And you know what? Yeah, we'll take the 400,000 and 2 out of 10 salvage. It's a free skull contract. I'm not expecting much in terms of... Um, I'm not expecting much in terms of resistance, to be fair. I mean, we've got... A vast array of different tons, honestly. This collection of mechs have been absolutely amazing. But what I am going to do is, from this point forward, instead of just going down the line and using our heaviest mechs or our lightest mechs, I'm going to start randomizing lances and basically... Yeah, just randomize the lances so this way everyone gets a little bit of a show to some degree. And that's it. Right, so I'll make a quick cut. I'll make a quick cut once I've done all the randomizing. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, folks, so I've done the randomizing. So we have Nixon in the Ostrop. We've got Archangel in the brand new Marauder, which we got in the last episode. I meant to, I meant to be, I forgot to mention that actually. Yeah, we outfitted him with four medium lasers, um, a Gauss rifle, uh, two bends, uh, the TTS accuracy as well, which is going to be very nice. I think, sort of thinking about doing the Ultra 5 build, the double Ultra 5 build, and that's it, but. I think this is better overall, you know, if we get destroyed, maybe we might run the Ultra Fives, we'll see. Uh, we've got Ace in the Dervish, we've got Kodama in the Brawler Orion. Uh, Chuckles in the Sniper, double PVC Catapult. Dixie, the double LR15, double S4 Missile Boat. Doc in the Melee, Big Steel Claw. And we have Slapshot in the Striker? Grope, grope. Hostile, I guess. So yeah, so this should be pretty fun. So yeah, so by press the H3 skills, catch a base. I have a feeling we're going to be definitely running into a support lance. So hey, the more enemies, the more money, and more salvage. So anyway, I will see you on the field. Okay, here we go. Martian biome. Actually, I think this might be our first Martian biome uh, fight, I think. I remember being on the, the Martians in a long time. These are the coordinates we see from Davian Intelligence. We've been to position to survey the outpost. But let's figure out what we're dealing with here. Good luck, Commander. All of you are out. Yep. And yep, just like that, we're in the middle of combat and we do have a support lance. Nice. Locust. Okay. So, like I said, I'm not really expecting much, but at the same time, we still need to be a little careful. These are light mechs. 
can still run circles around us. Evasion is very, very high. And if they can get behind us for back shots. Good to go. Yeah. Okay, so let's start things off with a nice... Oh, Wolverine, nice. Uh, yeah, let's start things off with a nice little melee attack, shall we? <laughs> sure enough, the facility is abandoned at all. We need to sweep the ball stars and clear the barracks. Remember, there may be more enemies in the field, stay alert. Yeah, already know. I'm still reading enemy contacts, Commander. You need 120. To the area before you can I see if I crit. I believe we hit the, uh, the arm there, did we? I think we hit the arm there. Interesting. <laughs> Head hit, are you Damage joking? Minor, <laughs> Damn much evasion. Yeah, let's have a look. Did we hit the uh, the arm there? I believe we did. Yeah, we did. Eh. Actually, we could have got rid of the AC5 there. Yes, Commander. That's fine. Okay, um, yeah, let's reserve. Waiting for the right move. Okay. Let's have a Wolverine. I mean, what we're facing again? Are we facing the Capellans? We are. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of uh, Wolverines. Maybe a Cataphract. Huh, interesting. Interesting they have a griffin. Holding. I didn't think the Capellans used griffins. I thought that was mainly the Lyrans. Well, anyway, I'm going to be doing strict melee with uh, Doc. Not to mention 120 damage for... I mean, what's his melee? What's what's Doc's melee? 120? Well, it says 75, but it's a lot more than that because of the arm modifications. Commander. Okay, let's reserve it to one and make sure that's everybody's movement. Ready for like this. Okay, cool then. Right, let's uh, let's move in. Just basically fire at will. Fire at will. Yeah, I know ball works, but not ball. I'm ready. Okay, Archangel. Let's see what we can do with this Marauder. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Okay, Ace. Uh, let's see, we have the Griffin side there. Huh. Waiting for orders. Dama. Hmm. Hmm. I'm there. Guess we can focus firing on the Wolverine. Target locked. Okay, we missed with the AC twenty. That's a bit there. Hey. Uh, Chuckles. Shirt sure, forward. On the move. Put the wasp on the right hand side. So I'm kind of hoping with Doc we could use him as a hunter killer for the lighter oh, mechs. No. That's probably the best thing we could possibly do. Uh, I don't want to jump around because I don't want to get any excess heat. But yeah, like I said, it's just going to be a quick engagement and that's it. No problema. Sure. I'm surprised that wasn't the kill. I thought that would have been. Okay, slop shot. Let's get a little bit of revenge, shall we? Uh, yep, yeah, something like that. Heat build-ups look too bad. And we'll fire. There we go. Yeah, the Ocelot's not too bad once you get into range. It is very low armoured, but, you know, it's perfect for its role, basically. Okay, Nixon, how's my forward? Coordinates received. Continue opening fire onto the green. Okay, left torso, left arm is gone, so I think the S from 6 is gone. Is it a 6R? I believe it is. Yeah. So the S from 6 is gone, the S from 6 is located in the left torso. Yep. I'm here. Uh, ace. Mm, continue moving, I guess. Yeah, we'll move him we'll move Ace around to the left hand side. Okay. Up the fire with Griffin. Okay, Archangel, let's just move a little closer. There we go, Rolling. opposite range. Uh, I'll be fire. Hmm, took out the left leg there. That should take him out of bulwark, like I think. Shot. But I was going to say he is panicked, so I'd rather the latter happen. Nope, still there. Boo. Okay, we're going to start engaging with uh, Dixie. That's completely fine. Like I said, I'm not... I'm not expecting too much for this fight. Not really. Uh, yeah, just keep pushing forward. I mean, that's Uranus' job. Uh huh. Okay, let's see here. So, Griffin's jumping. Closer range into the Ocelot. That's 
fine. I don't think the Ocelot's got that much movability to the point we can go in a melee, I don't think. Standing don't by. Okay, let's do a little of this. Out. Uh, 46%, we can knock it up to 66. Oh, we can gauge the Wolverine. No, let's gauge with the, the Wasp. Engaging with target. Eh, one of them. I'll do. Okay, look, it's moving up. Yeah. No, that's a problem. Okay, Dixie, uh, let's bring our attention to over here. Uh, 65 to Locus. Yep. Let's see, so... Looks like we got two Wasps, a Locus, a Griffin, and a Wolverine up to there. We have, what? Six more units. Uh, let me count. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing one. Where is the sixth, I wonder? Hmm, who knows? Sure, Doc. It's all yours. Step snip. <laughs> or, or, or kick, sure. I was hoping for a snip snip there. But I'll take it. I hope we can Kills a kill. That. Receiving you. Okay, slap shot. Okay, we actually we can move forward here. Sure. Position confirmed. Uh, yeah, we need to drop some medium lasers. Or, hold on. You multi target, actually. Uh, could do. Okay, so that's going to put us on the precipice. Actually, yeah, that should, that should do. Got it. That's it. Machine guns are going to kick in. Okay, still a little bit of damage, and then we'll go into melee next turn. Show them what you got. Okay, so the locust should be moving first, I think. Yeah. And the wasp, alright. Wasp 1L, is that, an, is that medium laser in SRM 2? Uh, no, it's just a, Oh, does an SRM 4? Trust. What about? Torso? Uh, no. Sensor? Arm? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um, we're actually a little bit finger. Sure, it's coming for a melee. Help goes down. <laughs> oh, poor little wasp. Bird gets squatted. Yeah, swatted. Yeah, swatted, swatted. Squished. Oh, Dervish. Ah, okay. That's what the, uh, the sixth mech is. Alright, interesting, interesting, interesting. Hey. Okay, Ace, let's just keep moving around. Keep providing LRM support. Sure. Good kill. Sees up the firepower for the other max. Definitely. Okay, Wolverine's coming in for a kick, eh? Alright. Interesting, interesting. I live to serve. Okay, Archangel. Let's have a look. Let's get over here. Moving to position. So that's a side shot, right? Yeah. Should be fine. Hmm. Good shot with the gals. The Cobra strikes. God, man, I do love Gauss rifles. I really do. Okay, how do... <laughs> Minimum range, I bet you. Waiting for orders. Okay, Juggles, let's uh, come around to the side here. Location confirmed. Let's see here. Yep, so far. Rifle destroyed. I think I hit something good. Yeah, this might be a quick upload, this. Well, like I said, in another series that I'm doing, I am going to chronologically archive everything. The easy fights, the hard fights, you know it. Up. Okay, slap shot. Yeah, you need to cool down, so let's go in for a punch. Heading out. Engage. Okay. Hopefully, you can trigger that... I was going to say, hopefully we can trigger that LRM, uh, that LRM explosion, the ammo explosion. Ha! That's also left arm. And he's out of here. Nice. Alright, Dixie, um, yep, yeah, stop the fire. Double bites of dust. Got a griffin. Apparently one more enemy left. 
Oh, reinforcements. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh yeah, Dervish. Got the Dervish. Okay, so where's these reinforcements then? On the back. Okay, that's not too bad. There. Okay. Okay, fire. I might need to rebuild the Dervish actually. I don't know. Dervish, I feel like, could do with some more firepower. Yeah, I feel like Dervish needs some more ammo or something, or some kind of mixed build or something. Because I've got it chalked down as an element 30 missile boat, but I might actually replace it. I might actually lower the tens to fifteens and then put uh, sorry, lower the tens to fives and put some uh, medium lasers on there and things. So thinking, we'll see. Engaging. Come on, how'd you miss that, eh? How'd you miss that? Right one. Okay, enemies should be showing up on the sensors soon. That's what I'm thinking. Affirmative. Uh, yep, still double PC. Fire. That's from two crit. Reporting critical hit. Yep. Okay, dark and belly. Yes, we can. Uh, is at the back? I think it might be. So. Okay, left arm with torso. Hmm, I was expecting. Okay, not bad. Ready for orders. Okay, slap shot. Let's get behind him. Aye, aye. Uh, just on the precipice again. Sure, fire. Yeah, that's a kill. Good night. Mech destroyed. Mm-hmm. Mech destroyed. Standing by. Right. What's left? Just taking care of this. Uh, Dervish, and that's it. <laughs> we we would do. We didn't miss our AC twenties. <laughs> do you know what? I think I might actually change the. I might change the AC twenty for uh, an AC ten actually. A little bit more range. That's what I'm thinking. And not to mention, that will save us, uh... It will actually save us a bit of tonnage for the things. But I'm not sure... I might... I don't know, I might put some heat sinks in, maybe? Double heat... Maybe some double heat sinks? I think we got some. No, I put the double heat sinks into the stalker, that's right. So I might just give us a mesh to heat sinking. Idea. Yeah, I yeah, might, might rebuild some more mechs, actually. Change up... Standing change up by. some things. Position confirmed. Okay, just to finish. Good night. Gotta take care of the reinforcements. Target neutralized. So where are they? They are somewhere. Alright, see you around this way. Got it. Oh, there we go. Where are they? Ah, almost right. Nice. Onward. Okay, everybody, about face. Rolling. Order this is opportunity to cool down. Coordinates received. Also, we've got the outpost as well, very nice. Okay, let's, uh, let's oh, jump with you. Bye. Like, we got sensor lock. Like, it's evil. Alright, let's brace. Okay, so we've got 45 ton, we have, what, 55 and a 50. Alright, right, listen, move forward. That's what we're dealing with. So let's see a trebuchet. Centurion? Trebuchet? Dervish? And a vindicator. Let's do what I've indicated first. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna lie, pretty solid medium squad. Very solid, actually, I like it. Especially the five then. Last cannon, but it has some exceptional firepower. Mm. Cheers, by the way. I'm your spaniel. Okay, okay, Joe, can you forward? I'm your spaniel. Sure, it's fine, anyone. Oof. That is your second miss with the Gauss rifle, my friend. My and even with system. a plus three uh, ballistic accuracy improvement as well. I am very, very, very disappointed. <laughs> Don't make me put that Gauss rifle on the Highlander. Okay, chuckles. Uh, let's just go for two. Fire. There we go. Right, so it's also right arm. That target in the fire room. Hitting the structure of the mech, also has a chance for a critical hit, ammo, and it causes explosions, and they lose a, a, they lose a limit or two. Good to go. Beautiful. Okay, uh, yeah, so we go up to this spot. Then we'll start meleeing in the next turn. Receiving you. Slip shot, keep moving. No shooting, also, we can cool down as well. You know what? 
Let me forward. Right, let's go kick us right over. We'll silence the AC-20. Not bad. Okay, you can see up there. Okay, unsteady. But not quite a knock. That's fine. Let's keep moving. Firing, let's go and knock by the Joshe. Oh, we can destroy the engine through crits. Nice. Yeah, trip sheet's done. Okay, Vindicators, here comes the PPC shot. Tell you what, our shots took a bit of a battery in terms of armor. Definitely no. us. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Nixon's been an absolute trooper this mission. Definitely. That's a good cluster onto the right torso. Wow. Not bad. Ooh, structure exposed. Okay, okay, okay. If you want to play it that way. If you want to play it that way. Uh ah, it's gonna hit the side. Lucky. Alright. Roger. Hmm. To hit the back then. Interesting. Jesus. They really won that Ostrock down. Minimal damage on that hit. Yeah, they do. If done. anything, just helps us. Oh, I should can't, can't park there, unfortunately. Uh, if anything, it just helps us take him down a lot better. A little bit of this. Roger that. Go. That's the leg. On okay. his ass. Good. Yeah, should be able to finish this up within the next like couple of rounds. Commander. Okay, chuckles. Let's move a little closer. Moving to position. Uh, we'll have to silence one of them, unfortunately. Roger. Trying to get into small laser range, actually. That's what I was trying to do. Receiving you. Uh, let's get precision. Let's try to lag if we can. Eh, a couple of hits, but we'll push it back in terms Commander. of initiative. Not too bad. Some small lasers, medium lasers. Okay, what's the best? Let's try that. Nice. Let's also left arm. That hit something good. Yeah, we need to get some melee or something here. Uh, nope, I got a little bit of an idiot. Oh, I was going to do... Actually, no, we can do this. No, multi target, Vindicator, and the Burrish. I think that might be a kill, maybe. We'll see. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. Let's get this done, folks. No problem. Advancing, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. We need to. Yeah, I, re I need to rebuild the Dervish actually. I just seen that. I don't even know how many LRM ammo it has. Yeesh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much bins of LRM ammo it has. I might have to re uh, recalculate it. We'll see. We can do that. No problem. No problem. We can do that. Nice. LRM 5 grip. Reporting critical hit. I await your command. Okay, Archangel. Now we can just hold position. I have it. Let's do it. No. No. Oh. I thought it would have been a guaranteed kill. Good. There we got this. Ready for orders. Okay. Do a little of this. Pop up. Good night. That's a kill. Mm hmm. Yes, Commander. Uh, Doc, we go in and attack. Yes, we can. Position confirmed. Switch exposed. Putting my weight into it. Yeah, <laughs> nice. PPC and LRMs are gone. Scored a critical hit. Standing by. Uh, move a little closer. Yeah, I thought that was going to take us over, so yeah, we'll melee instead. No! So, I wish we could use our MGs as well. Not bad. 
Okay, still going for the Ostrog. Jesus. I'm telling you, these guys, when they smell blood, they go after it. Waiting for orders. Not even interested. I'm there. Okay, well, it's just the punish time now. Time to bully him out. But that <laughs> hurts. Uh, are we okay to stay where we are? I guess we are. Silence the... There we go. Up fire. And there we go. Drop ship inbound for landing. We're gonna get in and get our quick. Got that And just like that, mission complete. Nice. Okay, so yeah, so in terms of salvage, nothing, nothing I'm really hoping for, really. The outpost of the commander. Employer is agents inbound to take possession of the data archives. Mission successful. Nice. Yeah, just some nice 400,000 sea bills and just nice 10 pieces of loot. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so what am I expecting for loot wise? Nothing really. Nothing. I wouldn't mind um, some of. Actually, I wouldn't mind some mech parts just so we can just put them together and sell them. But we got 700, 750,000. Eh? That's what I'm trying to say. Good amount of money there. Okay, right, so Nixon, uh, just some basic repairs, not too bad. Uh, one kill, Archangel, nothing. Ace, two kills and a punch out. Gundama, one kill and a punch out. Chuckles, one kill and a punch out. Dixie, two kills and a punch out. Splash, one kill and a punch out. And Slapshot, two kills and a punch out. And so if he says, okay, so we get full trebuchet, which we can sell, beautiful. Um, wasp part, two wasp parts, actually. Is that enough to build one? No, we have four parts, we need another one. Okay, we have two parts of a Wolverine, uh, two LRM 10s, LRM 15 plus for a minus three heat, five medium lasers, two machine guns, eight heat sinks, and 17 single jump jets. Nice. Uh, anything special we could have got? Uh, SM4 double boss. Yeah, it's just, it's just fixed loop, that's it really. Got some more medium lasers, some more heat sinks. Yeah, just for stuff to replace or to rebuild or whatever. But yeah. Okay, so once we get back to the, uh, the Argo, we're going to uh, repair the Ostrock and I'm going to rebuild the Dervish. Mm. The Dervish, it's okay for what it was supposed to be, just a miss, just a mobile missile support unit, that's it, but it needs some tweaking. Either in the form of more ammo or maybe less missiles. I am kind of leaning towards dropping a 10. Actually, if I drop a 10, if we go LM20 and medium lasers, or I could drop the jump jets. But then it'll just be a missile boat. If I try and make my mechs a little different. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Okay, uh, first of all, I'll start repair. It's one day. Perfect. Okay, where is the dervish? Dervish, 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 dervish. Right here. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, we're running. What? Hold on, what we're running? Two fives and two tens. Oh, okay. Jesus, two fives and two tens? Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's got this weird engine to armor ratio, don't it? It does. Ten tons. That's the maximum we can work with. Okay. Um. Do you know what I might do? Actually, I think I might make this something along the lines of a catapult, maybe. Let's see. What would S voice give us? Is that the question? S one four is five tons, huh? It'll increase our firepower by a little bit. Or do you know what we could do? We could go I'll tell you what, let me go S14 here. Go S14 here. And if I do this, let's go S one twos. We'll go medium lasers, doesn't really matter what medium lasers put on in all fairness. Okay. And then we go heat sinks. Actually, I want to look at jump jets. Uh, how many jump jets can we equip? One, two, three jump jets. And then just heat sinks. Okay, and then possibly just one bin of SRM ammo, because SRM ammo is 100 rounds, that's firing 
four. Hold on. Six. It's that's from twelve basically. So that would be roughly around ten alpha strikes. And then the heat delta is actually not too bad. To which what we can do is we can just drop another jump jet just for maneuverability. No. That's gonna affect our heat and so there's uh, exchanger. Is that just a ton or is it two ton? One ton. Exchanger. No. Oh, it's two tons. All right. Um, do we have any gyros to cut part on? We got loads of these bloody gyros. Yeah, we got shed loads of these gyros. Come sweet. Um. Just want another another heat sink. No work. And it was max armor. And then we'll do our back thing as per usual. So wanna be fight two. Fight two. It's forty-five. Because it's a ton and a half. To which we can put another jump jet in. Heat sink in. Tan off a little of the legs, a little of the front. There we go. Yeah. Go strike a cavalry this time. I'll let you know when that's done. Yeah, SRMs, medium lasers. We'll give that a shot. Okay then, right. Let's see where our next stop's gonna be. So we're heading towards um we're heading towards here. Uh, planet Rodigo. 91 days. Let's see. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a five school. Ashcom. Uh, do you want to do five schools? Actually, that's going to take. A couple less days, but it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, let's go to Ashcombe. Ashcombe is a minor planet on the Feds Capellan border. Recently conquered by the Feds, it remains a typical border world, undeveloped and over garrisoned. Sure, let's go there. Roger that, Commander. Yeah, let's go there then. Nice. Um, of course, also as well, um, I want to save up some money for the final Argo upgrade as well, but again, I want to get at least like four or five million before we. Uh, before we do anything there. And for some reason, every time we do space travel, it just always lags. I don't know why. I don't know why it lags. Weird. No idea. At least, as long as it loads, that's all matters in my eyes. I'm not too bothered about the actual uh, smooth things about it. Okay, happy accident. Darius opens the morning briefing with a scowl on his face. We picked up new supplies a few weeks ago. Or we're just now opening some of the crates and machine tools and well, I can't believe this had to happen again, but Jan practically explodes from his chair. We have more for us than triple F burger meat. Do you know how hard this stuff is to come by in the periphery? Dr. Brad sighs audibly. Please tell me that the refrigeration was still operational. I don't want to repeat it last time. Don't worry, Doc. Matty will take good care of the goods. Jan flashes your winning smile. What do you say, Commander? Burgers in the menu? Uh, yeah, we're going to do hydroponics. Recreate an authentic triple F burger. Nice. An idea pops into your head. Chief, you're kind of an expert at triple F burgers. Do you think the hydroponics garden has what you need to recreate the real thing? Yang's face takes on the stony expression that you come to associate with complicated refit orders. But when I heard, this stuff is basically whale meat, so I have to improvise. But yes, chance accepted. At the end of the week, Yang and his merc techs have raided the garden and retrofitted a blast furnace into a makeshift grill. Somebody even decorated the mess hall in triple S trademark colours. But only those who travel in Davian space can attest to the accuracy of the burgers. Everyone agrees that they were delicious. Mm -hmm. Morale increased by two. Which doesn't make a flipping hanuni. Because, because, <laughs> we have full morale anyway. Honestly. So, you know, that's probably one of the things I like about, um, I don't know about Battletech 3, I don't know about Battletech Advanced 362, but I know in Rotec, your morale bar can 
gradually decrease over time. And so, yeah, so you have to be careful with your choices. I do know we can do that. But yeah, I'll tell you something now. It's been a, a pretty fun season, this one. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. A bit different from the second one. Maybe... I think in terms of my playing experience, it's not as fun as the second one, but it's been alright this one. A little bit of a little bit of a scare in the first like third of it with the plus six thing until I figured out how to do it. Yeah, it's it's been alright. But the true meat potatoes, like my favourite part, will happen in season four, because we're gonna start in the clans. Then we can get access to clan. Equipment and clan mechs and stuff. I, I I like the clan stuff more than the the uh, inner sphere stuff. Ready to go over finance? I just feel like with the inner sphere stuff, like it's just the uh, it's the same mechs you see all the time. But the clan stuff, I don't know. I just love the clans. <laughs> okay, right. So we're a little under for our next uh, financial report, but by the time we get to uh, Ashgrim, it should be good. I think I might actually. I don't know if we're playing five skull. I might actually go full salvage. Because we could run into some assault mechs, and we we are very very close to getting some assault parts uh, to get an atlas. Sorry, but we need to face the Lyrans if we want atlas parts in this mod, or the pirates even. Okay, shots draw arise to your quarters. Looking for some advice. What well, I started is a comp competitive training exercise in the training module. So I'll just check the time. Um, has since evolved into a shipwide tournament with mixed lances of mech warriors and of a crew. Shots drawn Ace have been competing together. But Commander, Ace hasn't been pulling her weight, and my other two teammates are looking at me as the Lance Captain to do something about it. I feel a buck stuck here, what should I do? Um Short Straw to hold extra practice. Later that week you visit the training room and check the leaderboards. Short Straw's lance is risen to the top of the standings. The current match finishes and a grinning short straw exits from one pod and pounds on the ejected pod. Ace emerged laughing. Cheers and congratulations ripple through the entire room. Nice. So short straw and ace gets high spirits and of course morale increased by one. Nice. I believe that is uh, randomized. Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you get a bad one, I believe. Um, I might need to sell some things actually. Actually, that's what I might do in between episodes. I might do a spring clean of our inf inventory and uh, see if we can sell some things and then get that final upgrade. Right, well anyway, Atlas D. Oh my god, I'd, I'd so buy that if I could. I really need Atlas part. Atlas parts even. Okay, um, so Centurion, Crusader, Davian, Jaeger, Guitaro, Marauder, Alstrock, Phoenix Hawk. Love me a Phoenix Hawk. Um, AC5, yep, damage, just ballistic stuff, large laser, ammo. Yeah, same things really. Same things. I tell you what, hold on, just one second. I want to check my, uh, I want to check my parts bay for a second. Oh yeah, so there's an Atlas D that we have. All right, if I was an Atlas D for a second, then still though, two parts, two parts of an Atlas. That's all I need. It's two parts of an Atlas. Seriously. I mean, belt fist plus two melee hit chance, command belt mate, plus one initiative for whole lance. Yep, improved communications. Uh, to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind rocking a Banshee, actually. I think a Banshee would be pretty cool to rock as well. I mean, it's the good, I think it's the... Yeah, I think it is the uh, the better variant, I think. It's definitely not the one with the AC5 and PPC, I think. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what we got. We'll see what we got. But anyway, folks, I'm going to end the episode here. So in the next episode, we will have a look at the contracts. Yeah, we'll do a contract. Get some money, some salvage. I'll do a bit of spring cleaning in between episodes. Sell some things from the inventory. And yeah, just carry on the journey upwards and northwards. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today's episode. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below. Check them out if you wish. Apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day. Hope to see you next time. Take care.